What's going on everyone? Thanks again for joining me for yet another video. If you are new here or have not subscribed, subscribe, smash that like button, share with all your friends. Just so you know, I am not a financial advisor. Anything you hear or see in this video is not financial advice. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members. Thank you so much for being a channel member. And if you want to become a channel member, hit that join button below the video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to move assets from one blockchain to another. So strap in because here we go. Go. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about why a crypto bridge is important and how it allows you to change assets from one blockchain to another. This is particularly useful for those who want to diversify their portfolio or move assets between different platforms. Now, how exactly do you do that? I recently discovered this service called changenow.io. The link to this website is in the description below, as well as the links to the Apple App Store and to the Android Play Store. So if you want to get the official links, then check out the description. Now, they are not sponsoring this video. I do not have a partnership with them. I am not endorsing them, but I was impressed on how easy it was to use and the level of security it provides. They also have an app available on Google Play Store and and in iOS's App Store, which makes it even more accessible. So if you want to do bridging on your phone, you can do that as well. Now, I want to stress that before you make any moves with your assets, that it's also important to do your own research. This is especially true when it comes to crypto bridging, as it is a rapidly evolving industry with new developments and risks that you need to be made aware of. But in my experience, changenow.io is a great option for those who want a simple and secure way to change assets from one blockchain to another. So if you're looking for a way to diversify your crypto portfolio by moving assets from one chain to another, I would definitely recommend checking them out. So now let me show you exactly how this works. If you look over here, it says exchange crypto. It says you send and you get to select whatever token you have in your wallet to exchange it for what other token that you want on an opposing blockchain. Now, if you select right here, you could see that there are a ton of different coins that you could select that you want to exchange for another coin on another blockchain for the demonstration purposes of this tutorial, let's select BNB. Now, if you go down here, what do you want to receive? Basically, you could pick from 50,000 plus different coins on the various different blockchains. You can even select USDC on the Polygon network. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to select Polygon. So you just scroll through here and you find Polygon. You can even use this little search bar up here to help you find it. And then you'll select Polygon. It's actually also known as Matic on the Polygon network you can see right here. And for the demonstration purposes, let's put in five. We want five Matic tokens. So you'll say five right here and it tells you how much BNB that would cost you to send to get five Matic. You would then go to the exchange button right here, click on that, and then you fly on over to this. Now this is where you actually type in your Matic address. You would find this within your SafeMoon wallet, like I'm going to show you right here. And this is showing you on the mobile device. So you would just click on this little Little down arrow and it would select the Matic network. You would then go into here and you would select receive and then you would get this address right here. Now there also, obviously you can see that there is a QR code. You can scan this with the little QR code scanner that they have on here, but you will need a webcam on your computer if you're doing it that way. But this is just to get the web receive address. So there is no security breaches here. This is just where the Matic will be sent. Once you put in the address, you will get this screen it says, please confirm the details of your exchange. It says you send this amount of BNB and you get five Matic at Polygon that is going to be sent to this address. Estimated arrival less than 10 minutes and then you will hit confirm. So the process is really straightforward. You simply choose the crypto you want to exchange and they will give you the current exchange rate. Then you provide them the wallet address that will receive the new crypto and send the specific amount to their exchange wallet. It's important to note that you don't need to connect your wallet to any website or dApp. It's just like sending crypto to a friend and in return, your friend sends you the token that you want back. The simplicity of this process makes it easy for anyone, regardless of your experience level, to exchange 
exchange cryptos from one blockchain to another. And that is why I'm showing you guys how to do it. Now, let me fly on over to this. This is the mobile version of it. I wanted to show you this because I do a lot of my bridging on my mobile device. Now, I know some people said, don't do that, do it on desktops, but I find it more comfortable for me to use my phone because I pretty much use my phone for everything. So this is the app for this particular website that I just showed you. It's called Change Now. You can find it in the App Store. You can also find it in the Google Play Store. Like I said, I put it in the description below to make sure you check out those links. And if you look right here, this is the same exact setup as the website. And I'm just going to go through a full transaction for you so you get the idea on how it plays out if you were going to do this from your mobile device as well. So let's go through this. All right, now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to select change now. Now this is the app interface. Like I showed you on the website, it's very familiar. I wanna get Fivematic. As you can see, I have already put Fivematic in here and it's showing me what I need to send to get Fivematic. Now notice there is a timer here, so I have to be quick. So you hit enter address. Now I'm gonna go over here into my SafeMoon wallet and I'm gonna get the Matic address by simply going here, selecting Polygon, clicking on the Polygon token and hit the receive. As you can see, that's your QR code, but you can hit copy and that would be your address for it. So therefore you would go back here to enter Enter your Matic address. You will paste this in there. It'll ask you if you want to paste. You'll hit yes, and then you'll hit start the exchange. It will now say that you have to send this amount of BNB to this address. So first things first is you will copy that address. You will go back to your SafeMoon wallet, go up here, change this back to the smart chain, go on, go into send, and then you will say you're going to send the smart chain. It'll say recipient address, you will hit paste in there and you'll allow the paste. Now you have to put the amount in. So you'll go back over here, copy the amount that you need to send, go back to the SafeMoon wallet, go in here and paste in the amount that you want to send them to get your Matic. Then you will hit the send button. It says, please confirm this address. So you wanna make sure you confirm the address, hit confirm. Then you hold your finger down on the send. Now it says they're transferring the money into that wallet address that you just sent. So you will go back here and you just wait for it. This could take a few seconds, obviously because of blockchain speeds. So you'll just stay on this right here. It's awaiting the deposit. It's awaiting that transaction to happen. And as you can see, it automatically changed because they received the BNB into that wallet. Now, if you look down here, it says, we are looking for the best way to exchange this amount and send you the money. So right now it got the BNB that you sent it. It's looking for the exchange wallet to grab the Polygon from to send it to the recipient address right here that you can see. Actually, I blurred it out. You can't see it, but I just wanted to show you that this would be the address that they would get. Now it says sending deposit. So it says the exchange succeeded, your coins will be sent shortly. So then what you would wanna go is go back into your SafeMoon wallet. It says status confirmation, your sent transaction has succeeded. You go back here. Now, once you go up here, you select on Polygon. And as you could see, you now have your five Polygon, your five Matic tokens in your wallet. It was that easy. Congratulations, your transaction is successful. You were able to go from the BNB Binance chain, literally go into that app, send that amount of BNB into their exchange wallet and they grabbed that transaction and then sent you the five Matic back to your wallet. That simple. Now you can use this Matic to purchase things on the Matic network or to get into projects on the Matic network. It just so happens to be one of the easiest, fastest ways to do an exchange that I have found and also one of the safest because you don't actually have to connect to any website. Now, I know I did use the SafeMoon wallet, but this is basically the same exact process for every single wallet out there. Just make sure you get the right address when you're doing your receive and the right address for the crypto that you want to exchange it for. That is basically the only difference. You're just sending one crypto to an exchange wallet and they're sending the crypto that you want back to the address that you provided. All right, guys, that's all I have. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to put it in the comments below. If you like this video, subscribe, smash that like button, share with all your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.